Hey everyone, this is Bakari Shivana with Mac Automation Tips. Hey, in this particular video, I'm going to talk about how I use Clean My Mac for maintaining my computer and preparing for Mac OS upgrades, in this case, Big Sur. Stick around and check it out. All right, so I've done a, I did a video about uh, Clean My Mac about two years ago, and I thought I'd kind of update it here, and particularly with a focus in on how you can use some of the features for updating for, you know, a, a Mac OS uh, uh, upgrade. Uh, one of the things you don't want to do is just simply click that upgrade button and not prepare for it because you could run into some particular problems. So oftentimes what I do when I'm getting ready to upgrade to a new, uh, you know, system, Mac OS system, you know, I'll take a few days to prepare to get ready for it. And I'm going to talk about how I use Clean My Mac uh, for doing that here. So um, basically, Clean My Mac is very, very well designed, you know, you know, it's like, it's very attractive. Um, and it's, you know, so it's like, you know, you, when you open it up, it's really not difficult to use this application at all. And one of the things that happens in, in, in clean my Mac is, um, they have a thing called smart, smart scan and I run smart scan regularly. Matter of fact, clean my Mac reminds me to uh, run this on a regular basis. And basically all you need to do is just collect, select, smart scan here and then run it and it will go through and clean up any kind of unneeded files um you know deal with some some uh, it will deal with some optimization issues anything that you know a lot of things you really don't really need um in order to keep your to mac running i mean you you those those things are important but again you don't you know at some point you want to kind of clean it out because a lot of stuff just kind of gets built up inside uh, your system and on a regular basis say like you know every month or something like that um you just kind of want to go through and clean it out particularly like stuff in your safari uh you know cookies and things of that sort uh, his uh, the history of uh websites you visit um there's just a lot of things and what, what it'll do is clean my mac will show you what is cleaning up and you'll be surprised how much stuff that it can you know just take out and i've really in all the years that i have used it have never had a problem um after the uh, smart clean take the, the smart scan takes place so i'm going to let this here run and then we're going to come back and show you uh, what it actually cleaned up all right so it's is it definitely has cleaned up um it's identified uh six point uh, uh, 38 gigabytes of, of stuff here and you can review the details of that and it'll tell you like you know looks up it's cleaning up the uh, user cache files system cache files system log files user files uh, the trash bin is you know they're going to empty that out any junk in itunes which i don't really use itunes anymore but um you know just whatever's there some mail attachments it will clean those things up as well um, and if you don't want certain things cleaned out, you can you can uncheck that. So I'm going to do the mail attachment here because I think there's a couple of attachments in there that I uh, will make sure that they that they are retained. So it will tell you that. And then um, all you have to do is just kind of run here, just run press the run button here, and it will just go through and it will ask you to you know to uh, quit some of these applications here. So we're going to quit those. Um, all right, and then this is going to go through really quickly and do the running. So this is what I do before I do, and I do it regularly, but particularly before I do a Mac uh, OS upgrade, because I really kind of want to, before I start, you know, downloading the new upgrade, I just kind of want to get my, my my existing system cleaned up and stuff, you know, and so that if there's any problems, you know, I can kind of get back in there and it's, it's less junk to deal with if, if, if I run into any problems. All right, so it's almost going to do this here. It's almost finished. All right, so next what I do is now that um, I have that cleaned up, and, and, and again, I will run this. I'm running for this video, but I'm going to run this right before I do the upgrade. So I will, this will be the last thing I do before I run the upgrade. <clears throat> Another thing that I do also is I back up the Mac. I use... Um, the uh, carbon copy cloner, right? And I use that to uh, back up my Mac, but I do that after I do all the cleaning that I'm talking about here. So you do the smart scan and that might be enough, but I kind of go down and I use some of the other things here, optimization here, 
and I may um, I might disable some of the uh, login items because again, if I run into any problems, I want to disable some of them that that might be uh, that might slow things down. Uh, these are the ones that I have right now, but I, you know, again. I might disable some of those before I get ready to, to do the upgrade here. And then they have some maintenance here. Really don't need to use this for the upgrade here, but this is the, the free up RAM and things of that sort. Uh, but one thing I also do is I definitely go through and I look at any applications that I don't need and I go ahead and, you know, get rid of those as well. So um, now you know what the Big Sur Big Sur is not going to be a supporting 32-bit. I have one application here that I really want to keep that application. So I'm going to do, I'm going to have uh, uh, Mojave, because I'm still in Mojave. I never did upgrade to uh, Al Capitan. But I'm, I'm going to, um, <clears throat> I'm going to have a, a, a set, I have a separate, um, I have Mojave on a separate drive. So I can go back and, and, and boot it up from there if I need to. Um, but anyway, so I don't have any other 32 bit applications in there, just those two there. So, but anyway, I will definitely make sure that I will, you know, delete any applications that I think need to be, um, deleted. Then I will run, um, the updater here. Um, the, just the updater is pretty good. It's, it's not accurate for all applications here, but it will help you. I did some of that, um, yesterday and, and, and I, um, upgraded uh, quite a few applications, but these, it, it didn't do well on, it didn't upgrade them. It, it got error, error messages for these. So anyway, um, but now I would definitely check to see any kind of uh, application that need to be upgraded before, I, before I run the Mac OS upgrade. And then, um, anything in terms of extensions, I really haven't used this yet. Um, so I don't really know, I haven't used this one yet. So I'm going to skip that. And then I go down here to uh, large files and old files. So basically it can scan for your large, you know, large. And so I will get rid of those large files that I don't need. And that doesn't really have a lot to do with a Mac OS uh, upgrade. But again, it just kind of reduce the much as much stuff in, you know, in my, my current system as possible. I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, do that. So that's, um, you just run the scan there and it, I'll just run it here and basically it'll run it and it will find any large files here. Um, and you know, you see, and, and I, I got rid of a lot of files yesterday. Mainly those were, um, screen flow files. They were huge. And I just kind of, you know, uh, move those over to an external drive. And so that reduced a lot of space there as well. So this is a good handy thing to do. And you can always click on this and to reveal it in the finder to find out where it is. And then uh, you can do a quick look in there, you know, or you can add it to the ignore ignore list. So that's how that's pretty much how I use uh, Clean My Mac. Now it is thirty nine dollars um, a year, I think. 30, well, thirty maybe forty dollars a year subscription. Like everything else these days, is subscription. But I think they have a sale right now in which they are selling it for I think. $28 uh, for the, the first year. So you might want to check it out. I think it's worth the money and the investment because it, it just keeps my Mac really nice and tidy. It gets rid of a lot of junk in there. And, um, you know, I just have to worry about it. And I really d have not run into any kind of problems, um, you know, since I started using Clean My Mac probably at least about eight years ago. I've been using it for quite a while, but it's gotten better and better. And they're always updating it, um, you know, to make sure that it's running well and uh, that it was not, will not do anything to mess up um, your computer. So anyway, check it out. And if you have any questions, uh, let me know. If you, this is your first time visiting the uh, Mac Automation uh, channel, definitely subscribe and uh, definitely check out my website, Mac, uh, Mac Automation Tips. Uh, where I'll give a lot of information about how to use Mac automation applications. Thanks a lot. Check you again. Bye-bye.